Welcome back you're watching Storyboard. MAC Cosmetics is launching their skincare lineup called Hyper Real this month. Ahead of their launch, I caught up with Karen Thompson, brand manager of MAC Cosmetics India and spoke to her about key trends in the beauty industry and how are they building brand MAC in the country. Their focus on being omni-channel and much more. Listen in. MAC Cosmetics is making its debut into skincare with a new line, Hyper Real. To tell us more about this, we are joined in by Karen Thompson. Welcome to CNBC TV 18. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Karen, uh, first tell us about your entry into skincare and what will it mean for us consumers of MAC Cosmetics? Sure. So I think with MAC, we've always been a front runner when it comes to product innovation and Hyper Real will be no exception. Our team has spent many years, actually more than three and a half years, developing this skincare range. Uh, so it can be something that we're really, really proud of and that really matches our heritage as a makeup artistry brand. So we've had our R&D teams, our marketing teams, all departments, including our makeup artists, come together to really create formulas that work well for consumers who already use and love makeup. So this is really skincare done in the MAC way. So skincare done in the MAC way. You're bringing it to India. Uh, how will it be priced and how will it be a part of the MAC stores in the country? Sure. So we have three products and a brush. So in terms of pricing, we have the Serumizer, which is our hydrating serum, which will be priced at 5700 We have the Skin Canvas Balm, which is the moisturizer, which will be at 4800 And a cleansing oil, which will be at 4200 They are the full-size prices and we have minis as well, starting from 1700 so Hyper Real is a big business focus for us, so we're really going to make it a feature in our stores. So there'll be dedicated areas where a consumer can really experience the products. So they'll be able to see the product and understand all of the ingredients, explore the technology behind the product and test the product as well. Another great thing that we're introducing into the stores is our skin artistry services. So this is a specific service dedicated to skincare. We're taking our many years of experience in complexion and in understanding skin, combining that with our artistry to create skincare looks. So depending on how you want your skin to look and feel, we use the Hyper Real range along with our artistry techniques to create a look for you. What are the key trends that are driving growth driving sales for the India market. Right. I, I think a big one right now is uh, the skinification trend. Uh, skinification. Skinification. What's skinification that? of makeup, um, where consumers are looking more and more at the ingredients that are going into the products oh. and looking for skincare benefits in their makeup mm -hmm. as well. Um, I mean, we've really done this with Hyper Real as well, where we've got ingredients like niacinamide, like hyaluronic acid. Consumers are really interested in ingredients right now. And I think also the, the proof behind the product as well, so the claims and the benefits that you get with products, that's a real key thing for consumers at the minute. They really want to know what is this product doing for me, um, which is, like I said, that's, that's why we've got these great ingredients in the Hyper Real range as well. Uh, also, social commerce and live commerce is something, uh, you know, that has been uh, creating exciting opportunities for brands and products in the beauty space. What is MAC doing in the social commerce and the live commerce space? So we're experimenting with different things and I think there's still a lot of space to grow. So some of the things we've been doing are live streaming. So on both on our own brand website and along with some of our partners, for instance, Nike, we have the watch and buy where consumers can tune in directly on the sites or on the app. Uh, and there's a live streaming session where we have a masterclass or a demonstration. It can either be with our brand educator or with a, a key brand partner. Uh, and the consumer gets to experience the product, see how do you try it on, and then shop along at the same time. So that's something really exciting, and I think we'll see more of that as consumers want to experience brands online as much as they do in stores as well. On that note, how is technology changing the way in which you know beauty brands are interacting with their consumers today? On our brand website, for instance, we have a virtual try-on technology. Mm -hmm. So you can go onto our website and you can try on every single lipstick shade. You can try on your foundation shade and make sure that you're getting the right match. You can even try on a mascara. Uh, so that's really bringing the essence of a fantastic store experience to online. Mm -hmm. And as you say, it's allowing us to engage with our consumers more and more across different channels. Um, another great technology, for instance, with the launch of Hyper Real, we're implementing a skincare finder onto the website. So it's skincare finder. Skincare finder. So it's basically a journey for the consumer online to be able to select the right skincare routine for them and the makeup products that complement it to get the right skincare look. 
So again, it's kind of taking the experience that you would get in store, being assisted by one of our makeup artists and bringing that to life online. And uh, you know, how is this entire uh, beauty as a category uh, shaping or changing? What, what, is, what are the insights of the future? What will uh, shape or define this space in the coming days? Uh, beauty brands having a purpose. I think this is something that's going to be central to what consumers are looking for in brands over the course of, uh, of, of the future. Uh, this is something that really consumers care a lot about. I think another thing will be the focus on inclusion and diversity for brands. And again, this is something that MAC has been doing since day one. I mentioned before our model, which is all ages, all races, all genders. And having not just a product range, but also a, you know, a creative perspective and building a community, uh, an inclusive community, has always been really important for MAC. And that's something I see many, many, many more, more brands uh, doing as well and I think this is it's so important that beauty is inclusive and that nobody is excluded in the journey and I think this is a great move for the industry that all brands care about this now I think it's a great thing for consumers and it's a great thing for the industry now when it comes to India market what will be the focus for Mac in the coming days is it going to be a, a strong offline presence a lot of stores do we will we see opening of a lot of stores from Mac in the coming days uh, D2C, when it comes to beauty space, has picked up in a big way over the past couple of years. So do we see MAC focusing on D2C? What is it? What will be the focus in the coming days? Right, right. It's a really good question because I think when you've already got the size and scale of MAC, it's really important not just to look at one or two channels, but to be truly omni. Mm. And that's how the consumer is shopping right now. I mean, there's not just an online consumer and an offline consumer. Everyone is shopping, or maybe not just shopping, experiencing the brand across multiple channels. So I might be discovering the brand on Instagram and then going into a store and then getting my replenishment online. So we're tr trying to make sure that we have a strategy which is truly omni. And as we spoke about before, building some of those tools that we need online to create just a go as good an experience online as you get offline. That being said, I think offline and brick and mortar stores have made a huge comeback post COVID. Consumers really want to get back into stores and experience the brand, which has been fantastic for us to see. Um, you know, we have our makeup artists in the store, they're able to engage with the consumers directly, and that's something that we've always loved doing. So we will continue to open more stores. We've got more than 170 stores already. Wow. But I think there's still lots of room to grow. I mean, there's still so many opportunities in India for the retail spaces to develop. We'll particularly be looking at tier two and three cities. So expansion will definitely continue. And we'll continue to grow and scale with our online partners and with our D2C uh, direct website as well. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us today and sharing these insights with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is time for a short break.